Hi Neil Turner here. As promised I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to send FTP from the Canon EOS R5 with the uh, WFT R10 grip attached. As you can see we have two LPE6N batteries in the battery holder ready to go in the grip. You need two batteries to make this work. The WFT won't do its job properly if you only have a single battery in there. So I'm just going to now show you where the port is. It's this lump on the side on the bottom of the uh, WFT. You peel that cover back, spin it round. It stays attached but loose. The Ethernet cable goes in here as simply as you can imagine. There's a positive click when it goes in properly. And there we go, the cable is now in. I've tried it with uh, Category 5E and Category 6 cables. Both work equally well, so I don't think there's a preference that I can point out here. Okay, so let's get going. We've got two batteries in the grip and we've got an Ethernet cable plugged into the socket on the WFT and one end and at the other end it's plugged into a switch or a router. In my case it's plugged into a switch. Without further ado, let's wake the camera up. Okay, here we go and we're going to go straight into the menu. Menu and we want to go to the communication settings which is this icon here. And we want actually page two of communication settings. And you can see we have something called WFT settings there. That's great because um, if you didn't have the grip attached, you wouldn't see that. So I'm going to go into WFT settings. And I'm going to go in and it says network enabled already. So, but you need to make sure it is enabled. The uh, default is disable, so you want to enable it. Okay, and connection settings is where we need to go next. And you can see now we've got the options to store lots of different connection settings. They're all marked as unspecified because I ha I've cleaned out the, uh, the memory on this thing. So there is no connection settings already in there. So I'm going to hit unspecified. And I'm going to go create with wizard because that's how we do the first one. And again, configure online is so much simpler than configuring offline. FTP transmission. Yes, we want that. And we want to go wired. Now with the grip you can do both um, types of connection from this one setting. So that's different from when you haven't got the grip on. Okay, new settings, yes. And I'm just going to zoom out slightly so you can see that the LAN light is flashing. And we're going to go to auto settings for the IP address yes we will okay we don't want to use uh, IPv6 so we're going to go okay for that one and then we've got our communication save settings so that basically means we're already attached to the internet it's as quick as that so now we want the function settings okay FTP yes so now we need to set an address. If you remember this from the wireless version, this can either be a string of numbers, as you can see on the back, or it can be a URL. So I'm just going to throw this out of focus now, and I'm going to put uh, some address settings in. So give me two seconds. Okay, we're back in focus, and you can see it's now asking whether I want to use passive mode. So I'm going to enable passive mode. And hit OK. I don't want to use a proxy service. I'm disabling that. And I want to have a login and a password. OK. So again, I'm going to show you how to do this. But you'll remember these, these settings don't really exist. So my username for this uh, server is NEIL Neil. That's my username. That's OK. OK. And my password is Turner. And I'm going to go straight into the root folder. Okay, you can see we've got an error message. That's because I've tried to put in settings that don't really exist. So I'm just going to, again, click off for a second and I'm going to put the correct settings in uh, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK for the password. Going into the root folder, that's fine. And we're connected to the FTP server. That's pretty simple, I think you'll, you'll agree. So before we go ahead and send any pictures, I'm just going to disconnect again. Disconnect. Okay, and I'm going to go back into there. 
go into FTP trans and I'm going to change change from list first of all I want to give these settings some names so the settings names are going to be uh, for want of a better phrase R5 test so I'm going to call these settings R5 so now when I look when I'm looking for them I know what they're called so before we get going with sending pictures there's one other setting I want to make sure is okay so while we're, dis we're disconnected we're disconnected okay go back to the menu go back to page one make sure that the Wi-Fi settings are enabled and then look down and see tr FTP transfer settings now you can see transfer the set is enabled because that's what I've already done that but the default is disabled so you'll see this the first time you do it and then you want to just take that put enable and then back to the menu back to the menu now we have everything as we want it we can go ahead go to WFT settings connection settings can oh, cancel that connect connect okay so we're now in a position to talk about transmitting pictures so what I'm going to do now is bring up the review of my images that are in on the memory card so here we go and you can see that the transfer the set icon and these icons are here if those icons aren't there you almost certainly haven't enabled transfer with set or there's something gone wrong in the system you can also see this little icon here which uh, shows that we're, we're attached through ethernet using the wft and also the battery level of the two batteries in the grip it's all pretty clever so we're, we're going to be transmitting jpegs at the moment so here we have some images so let's quickly scroll through Okay, don't want that one, don't want that one. Yeah, I think I like that one. So again, if you remember, we've got two options. We can either use the touch screen or the set button. So for this one, I'm going to use the touch screen, transferring, land light flashing, transfer icon, gone. We're on a really fast connection here, so that was about two seconds uh, to send a large JPEG. So again, let's just have a quick look through. Okay, much. Okay, oh, like this, this is peeling paint. Um, let's have a look at this one. Let's send this one with the set button. So we're again transferring. And away we go we've done it and we can just simply scroll through these pictures that I randomly ran around the garden and shot again gone now if you remember if you get an X in that box there where we keep seeing the the, the, the circle that means the transfers failed but with Ethernet you rarely get failed transfers they're normally fast and they're normally secure and they're normally pretty reliable okay so here we go we've sent quite a few pictures now just oh look, that's nice let's send that one using the button and that's gone so that ladies and gentlemen is it that is how you transfer images uh, using Ethernet it's how you set the Ethernet uh, settings up with the WFT it is simpler with the WFT uh, even with the Wi-Fi than it is without it but uh, you know you you have that large grip as well so it's up to you whether you think uh, it's worthwhile uh, personally I can't imagine owning this camera not owning the grip um, just simply for the these occasions when I want to be able to send using Ethernet that's it I uh, hope you've enjoyed this please share it with other people share it with some friends uh, and go to my website and uh, see what else I'm up to cheers then bye bye